Luxury mansions built hundreds of years ago hold many secrets. They are invisibly linked to their owners and are reluctant to reveal their secrets even after many years. Take, for example, the Yusupov princes who hid family valuables in all sorts of hiding places before leaving their palaces forever. The princes had to flee their homeland in a hurry when the Bolsheviks came to power. The new authorities turned their luxurious mansion into a boring bureaucratic office. In the spacious rooms, once served as bedrooms for members of the princely family, officials arranged offices, and at the entrance planted an old man-watcher. The revolution forced Felix Yusupov to move the family treasures to the Moscow mansion from St. Petersburg. Apparently, he believed that this would keep the valuables safe from the Bolsheviks, who were hungry for wealth. It was difficult to cope with this task alone, and the prince asked for the help of Grigory Bozinski, whom he trusted completely. But the plan was not too successful. The authorities learned about the catch, tried to find it on their own, and failed. At that time, Bozinski remained in the mansion and was subjected to severe torture. He courageously endured everything, but did not utter a single word. Years later, the Bolsheviks did not abandon their attempts to seize Yusupov's treasures, and only chance helped to realize their plans. In 1925, the watchman was making his rounds and noticed one oddity. In the basement room was bricked up arch. The work was done sloppily, as if hastily, which was very conspicuous. He removed a few bricks and saw an empty room behind them. People from the committees and the GPU were invited to look into the situation. Having dismantled the improvised wall, the officials found a steel door and behind it a huge twist with old rags, clothes. The Bolsheviks did not immediately realize that they had found untold princely riches. When one of them accidentally kicked the bear with his foot, the family silver, containers of different sizes with valuables spilled out of it. The rags concealed caskets, chests with jewelry, crystal, marvelous dishes, jugs dating back to the 16th century. One of the most valuable finds was a snuff box decorated with a scattering of diamonds. In the room stood three wooden boxes lined with genuine leather on which were depicted family coats of arms. Inside were kept jewelry made of noble metals with huge emeralds, rubies, diamonds, sapphires. Each thing is a real work of art. In total, two kilograms of gold, 18 precious tyres with gorgeous stones, 42 bracelets, 255 magnificent brooches with diamonds were found in the catch. Historians have established that part of the found valuables are wedding gifts of Arina Romanova. Becoming the wife of the prince, she acquired a luxurious collection of jewellery. It is difficult to imagine the emotions of people who unexpectedly discovered such a treasure trove. Tyras, necklaces, bracelets, brooches. All this beauty is inlaid with first-class pearls, rubies, and transparent crystals. In addition to dishes and jewellery in the treasury found silver statuettes, more than 200 ancient dishes, ladles, glasses, all this is of great historical value. The experts were amazed. Not counting jewelry, the gold items weighed a total of 13.5 kilograms, and silver items weighed more than 1120. The treasure contained not only metal and stone items, there were also rare pieces of art. For example, a one-of-a-kind Stradivarius violin, real masterpieces of painting and sculpture, portraits of Princess Yusufi of different years performed by famous artists. The unique items were added to the museum collections, the State Depository and the Bank. In particular, they can be seen at the exposition in the Kremlin Armory. Yusupov's catches were found in their other mansions, and many valuables from them were gradually sold abroad. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like, Subscribe to the Jewelry Stories channel and click on the bell not to miss new videos.